Come on in. James Lahey is one of Canada's top landscape artists. Lahey is known as a highly skilled painter. His most recent works show his deep connection with nature and his intense approach to his craft. I like the way phenomena works. I like the way weather works, and you can't really quantify it, so it's not like a still life. But I also love the, the challenge of representation and that sense of realism, and I love those things. What you see in James's show are big seascapes and landscapes. At first blush, this might strike you as being fairly conventional subject matter, but they're very big and they're very um, deep, <laughs> by, by which I mean um, James works up these paintings uh, and builds them up from so many layers that, you know, they get sort of wet and spongy. There's a seascape that is so convincing, they feel, feel if you like stuck your finger into it, it would come away wet, you know? They're very slow. You have to look at them for a long time and get involved in them. And they're very laborious. They're very labor intensive. And, and they're tiny little marks that he makes, but your eye makes it into this huge, magical, dark space. I think it's a craftsmanship, you know, as each painting is so pushed to its limit of, uh, I would say, of efficiency. Each work is really completely resolved. These are the girls, they're uh, studio friends. You know, at the beginning, there's all this sort of optimism, you know. Uh, when you start a painting, it's very exciting. You know, there's this white surface. And then, in my case, I use undercolors, so there, and there's a range of colors that I might use. And then you start to make lines, and, and there's something pure about that mark. You know, you've got that white surface, and you lay that green down, let's say, and it's a very, you know, it's a very unequivocal green. And then, you know, the picture begins to evolve and, you know, you're, what you wanted and what you're getting and there's this dance or wrestling match, whatever you want. Considering that a lot of these seascapes uh, and landscapes are dark, moody, a lot of clouds in the skies, the seas are gray and leaden, you know, um, it's curious to hear that he starts with brilliant fields of pure yellow and purple and, uh, and paints and paints and paints in thin layers, building up to what he calls a composite gray. So he doesn't actually apply gray to the canvas. He builds gray up from underneath, right? And this gives the picture a deepness that is very strange and airless and you know, odd, you know? Yeah, the space looks fantastic. Lots of room around everything. And it's the work that's fantastic. It's hard sometimes to see that there are layers and layers of paint because in the they're so thinly, um, they look so flat. And with the cloud paintings, it's the same thing. And yet, you'll see there'll be a cloud, and underneath you'll see that light golden color. And that golden shade, it's just sort of just on the underbelly of the cloud, and it's just a slight reflection of sun, is 10 layers down in the paint. I mean, it's, they're phenomenal paintings for that. You can feel it in your body, like that synthesis starts to happen, the picture starts to come together and the surface starts to unite and ambition and realization are getting closer and you know, it's like, it's like a relationship or something. And then you feel finished and you're as high as, as a, you know, there's a kind of ecstasy. Where's the top, dude? James Lahey is best known for uh, his paintings, the, uh, but he's also an accomplished uh, photographer and uh, mixed yeah, media okay. artist. A painting practice is a very solitary practice. So it was great to collaborate with people whose work I respect. James recently worked with designer Bruce Mao and writers Gary Michael Dalt and Alain Dorian. They created an installation in the elevator of the Hotel Le Germain. We worked together to, to bring, to make a kind of text and image uh, piece that was really a, a kind of erotic poetry uh, with an image of, of clouds. The image is floor to ceiling, wall to wall, and uh, it's a very uh, dynamic space. So you can go in and push a button and ride to your room and not pay attention. But alternately, you can go in, you know, uh, push a button and become engaged with, you know, all the walls in the elevator. In a sense, what this comes to, you know, is that James has found sort of interesting new ways to live with poetry. 
the idea really is, is that I make pictures, you know, so whatever it takes to make a picture, what, whatever it takes to do, I mean, that's the great gift of the last, of the 20th century in a way, and uh, now we're in the 21st, but, you know, all those artists um, who went before me created a climate of permission where you can really use anything. I guess it's that postmodern notion that you can borrow from various approaches and come up with something that works for you. In a very uh, fundamental way, he has an extraordinary gift as a painter. I mean, you can't, you see the work, it's undeniably good. And then, you know, he couples that with entrepreneurial sensibility. Great to talk to you. And he understands how to make things happen. Um, this is a piece that's um, underway for a show this summer in New York. Yeah, I'm busy. There's a lot of projects. There's a lot of shows, and um, and I'm grateful for that. I mean, like you know, thank God. You know, I don't think I'm a workaholic. I think I just do all that it takes to keep moving ahead. You know, and it sometimes takes a lot. <laughs>